I want to do a talk on uh, Enterprise 2.0 and uh, what does it mean? Well, Enterprise 2.0 basically is a new way of thinking about corporations and in the traditional view of a corporation or the institution, I call the corporation the institution because corporations really are an institution. And um, the institution probably could be argued started with the Mayan calendar, the institution of monarchy. Monarchy is an institution. And I believe the institution is coming to an end as we know it. And something uh, more akin to an open corp or a collaborative corp, okay, is, 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 is going to be the future. Now, Foundups Corp is an example of such a corp. My doors are open to anyone. Anyone who wants to join Foundups Corp can join. Now, ultimately, we pay people with our own money. It's called Foundup Dollars. And um, you basically earn found up dollars for achieving mitigating milestones. And you can apply these found up dollars to any found up launching either as a private placement or IPO. And uh, what this means is you can, instead of you we giving you, you know, and ultimately we're creating a platform called the Found Up Mall, mall, like a place to shop, where you can also spend them. So we're completely changing the way people think about currency, people think about work, and how, you know, people um, basically inter interact with uh, money, with work, uh, and for example, in our corporation, Founders Corp, we're not interested in employees, we're not interested in, you know, really contractors, we're interested in moonlighters, people who are working for other companies excuse me, and who ultimately um, are unhappy and looking for something different and something new and something where they can just do what they love. And I believe if you do what you love, you're going to do the job better than when you do something and you don't love it, right? So Enterprise 2.0 is the whole idea that I can live in Japan where I love, here is what Japan looks like. All right, here's the rice paddies and I do this road. As you can see, there's tons of traffic for me to hit. So no, I'm not in India, so I get a lot of Indians really afraid of my driving. There's no cars where I live. I live in rural Japan. It's kind of like just mountains and rice paddies. And uh, very few cars, so don't worry about me. Um, the, um, I get to live where I am, do what I want, and uh, don't need to worry about moving to some place like Silicon Valley or anything else. Now, that's Enterprise 2.0 in the sense that it's a flat global economy and you can live anywhere and you can work on what you do anywhere, right? The idea of the old institution, the institutions want you to move to a specific location because ultimately they want your banking deposits they want your effect on the community and everything else and um, you know that's that's you know that's the old empire so in moving forward what I imagine and what I believe is that in the future Foundups Corp and our you know we're not going to set up corporations all over the world what we're going to do is establish um, affiliate partners and our affiliate partners are either strategic partners or our prime partners. Um, and um, our affiliates basically operate using our framework under their existing um, institutional corporate model for foundups. So this, you know, so to give you an example, we have affiliates now in Hong Kong, in China, in India, um, and. Um, uh, Europe, I think other places, oh, of course America, uh, and uh, you know that what it means is we can actually not worry about incorporating everywhere. We provide a framework, and this always goes back to OIF. OIF is the Open Incubator fr Framework, or it can be the Open Incubator Found Up. Um, I'm starting to mix and max. OIF stands for that anyway, right? And um, um, you know, OIF is a framework. 
there is no framework for the startup. You know, face it, when you do a, a startup, you're pretty much on your own. No one gives you a framework or scaffolding or schema to launch your idea. I have this idea. What do I do next? I don't know. Oh, you got to write a business plan. That's the framework, right? Write a business plan. A business plan that no one's going to read. We don't write a business plan until a found up is at least level four, right? We don't worry about a business plan. You got to validate yourself first. So actually, we've just recently um, started on our business plan, really last week, and um, got it written professionally by one of our team members, and I actually paid him. You know, the guy's in law school, he's busy, but the great thing is we've raised some funds, you know, and we're using a different, we're using a sick, a sick way to raise money, a sick, strategic, that stands for, I can't speak, strategic initiative capital campaign. The sick is unique to the found up, and again, you don't have the sick in startups. It's okay. We all can't have a sick way to raise money. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this talk. And, um, you know, you can always shoot me an email if you have any questions on what I'm doing. You can uh, become a stakeholder, you know, purchase, uh, you know, make a contribution of $100 uh, towards uh, writing my book. And um, ultimately, uh, we'll give you, uh, you know, 20,000 found up dollars to use on the mall. And uh, you'll get invited to be in our alpha our play found up alpha and also our found up mall alpha and some other perks so uh, make contribution thanks